Okay, so here we're going to use our double angle identity to simplify down this expression. 1 minus 16 sine squared x times cosine squared x. And all I'm really going to do is just rewrite uh, this expression, sine squared x times cosine squared x, a little differently. So uh, the first thing I'm going to notice is really we could write this as 4 times sine x times cosine x quantity squared. I mean, uh, if you square everything, we'll get our 16, our sine squared, and our cosine squared. So really, we could rewrite this as 4 times sine x times cosine x, well, times another 4 times sine x times cosine x. And, okay, so I'm remembering, uh, the thing I'm thinking about here is, recall that um, sine of 2x that's the same thing as 2 sine x times cosine x. Well, we don't have a 2 sine x cosine x in the parentheses. We have a 4 sine x times cosine x. But if I multiply both sides by 2, so if I multiply both sides by 2, if I multiply the left side by 2, I'll get 2 sine of 2x. If I multiply the right side by 2, well, I'll get 4 sine x times cosine x. So now what I'm going to do is simply replace uh, each 4 sine x cosine x with this uh, value 2 sine of 2x. So it says really we're going to get 1 minus, okay, um, I'm going to get rid of the brackets. It says 4 sine x cosine x, that's the same thing as 2 sine of 2x. Squeeze it in there. Then we'll have another 2 sine of 2x. Alright, well, if we uh, rewrite this one more time, this would be 1 minus 2 times 2 would be 4. Sine of 2x times sine of 2x is going to be sine squared of 2x. And, um, you know, at this point there's really not a, 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 lot le a lot left that you can do in terms of simplification, I think. So, um, we have cleaned it up a little bit maybe. You know, we've gotten rid of at least a couple trig functions. Now we're only simply using, uh, instead of having sines and cosines, at least now at this point we only have sines floating around the problem.